so we're going to move on now to Nezper. And Nezper asked me eight questions. First being, what do you think of the comic book and movie called The Crow? Now, I've never read the comic books, but I have watched the move, the first movie, and the, well, the movie series in general. And it's the first movie I like. I like the first movie with Brendan Lee, and it's sad that he's gone. But the other movies were, bleh. I didn't care much for the series, uh, the movie series. But the first movie I thought was great, and I really don't know if they should remake it because that would just kind of dishonor the memory of Brendan Lee. And I know I sound like a hypocrite sometimes when I say this, but Brendan Lee did so well in that movie, and I don't know what else you could, who else you could cast. I can't see anyone else but him as the crow. And I don't want to sound like such a hypocrite on that, but that's kind of the truth. And a lot of people agree with me. And I'm kind of open toward remakes sometimes, but not this time, I guess. Second question is, have you seen Sucker Punch? And if so, what do you think of the movie? Sorry, dude, but I haven't seen Sucker Punch yet. Stupid economy. And the fact that I live too far away from a movie theater doesn't help, so... Yeah, gas prices. Third, your third question is... Are you going to Free Comic Book Day? Yeah, hoping so. Uh, hoping I can make the trip there. Um, hoping I can make the, uh, make it there. Um, hoping I can get the free comic books. I'm especially excited for the... Dark Horse is going to be launching the Avatar Last Airbender comics with uh, Free Comic Book Day, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple other comics I wanted, but, you know, um, yeah, I am hyped for Free Comic Book Day. Uh, fourth question is, did you hear that the Foo Fighters song called Walk is going to be in Thor? Now, I'm not a... First off, I'm not a fan of the... Really a big fan of the Foo Fighters. My brother is. My brother is actually a, uh, of, is a fan of the Foo Fighters. I'm not. Are you sure you're... And I'm... And not to, not to call you out or anything, Nesper, but... Are you sure you're not thinking of Pantera's song Walk? Because there's... They do a song called... Pantera does a song called Walk, but... Then again, there are a lot of song titles that... Um, sound alike. So maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know because I don't listen to a lot of of Foo Fighters. So maybe there is a song from Foo Fighters called Walk. But I'm thinking of the Pantera song Walk. So sorry, I I, I don't listen to Foo Fighters a lot. But that's a, that's cool if you do. And if, um, okay, maybe we'll be on the soundtrack. Five. Who would win the fight between the Crow or Daredevil? Uh gonna stay out of that one. <laughs> um, ever heard of the graphic novel series called Adventures of Tintin? No? I, I've heard of there's this, there was a TV show I believe called The Adventures of Tintin it was about a dog, but maybe I'm thinking of something else, sorry. <laughs> Seven, have you watched a show called Game of Thrones? Sorry dude, I don't get HBO. My bad. I, I, everyone tells me you've got to watch Game of Thrones you've got to watch Game of Thrones I want to watch Game of Thrones I don't have HBO and I can't afford the money for it I've, if you noticed we're all kind of tightening our belt, our wallets here so sorry I'll have to catch it on DVD collection and finally your last question is what is your favorite type of fantasy um mythology Mythology is one of my favorite th fantasies, like the uh, Greek and Norse mythology m fantasies, and the steampunk fantasy. Uh, steampunk fantasy is another good one. Uh, giant monster th fantasy, you know, with Kai with um, Godzilla and all them, the other kaiju as they're called. Uh, science fiction, well, science fiction and fantasy go high in hand in hand. Uh, medieval fantasy with like dragons and wood elves, kind of like the Norse mythologies, but with knights and stuff kind of dig those mythologies, but yeah, those are just to name a few. But thank you for the questions, Nezper. We're going to move on now to The Plant 10. Uh, he also asked me eight questions, starting with if you could make any superhero movie, what would it be? Uh, I'm still backing for I'm still waiting for the Black Panther movie. Yeah, I'm still waiting for that Black Panther movie that Marvel's uh, got the writer for. So still waiting for that, and I really and I and if I could cast anyone in there, I cast Michael J. White as T'Challa. Yeah, I definitely cast um, him as Black Panther in a heartbeat. Um. Yeah. Uh, your second question is, what do you think of the? Do you like the cast of The Dark Knight Rises? Yes, yes, and uh, and most definitely yes. I love the cast for uh, so far for The Dark Knight Rises. 
I cannot wait to see Tom Hardy as Bane. I can't wait to see Anne Hathaway as Selena Kyle. I'm pretty. Sh I'm. I'm confident those guys can pull it off. I'm really confident in that. Uh, and everyone else, I just really hope they're going to do their best. Third question is: Have you ever heard of a show called Psych? And if so, what do you think of it? Uh, and do you think the guy who plays Sean would be a perfect cast for the Flash? Well, I've only seen two episodes of 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 Psych, one being the Christmas episode, and the other being the one where they kind where they met the entire cast of Twin Peaks, which a show I've never seen either. So I couldn't really give you a de a definitive answer on that because I'm not a big fan of Psych. Sorry, but. Um, I, I still say Christopher Pine would be my cast for The Flash. Uh, four, do you think the he uh, hero in the Teen Titans will be in the Young Ju will be in Young Justice? If I could pick anyone from Teen Titans to be in Young Justice, I'd definitely cast like maybe Raven or Starfire, maybe another um, another girl to balance it out. You know. Uh, your next question is Ant Man vs. the Atom. Now, I can't give you a definitive answer, but I know uh, my friend, Mount Vernon Kid, he actually did a fight video. Someone asked him to do a fight video where he had Hank Pym against Ray Palmer, the Ant-Man and Adam. So if you want to go and figure out that question, you can go to his channel and look at his fight videos and look for Ant-Man vs. the Atom there. Because um, he, he gives a very good, good definitive uh, fight match in, in that fight. So um, you can go check that out. Um, if you could write an Avengers movie plot, well, where would you take? The, how would you take the film? Uh, I would take it. I would take it. Um, like has I had? I definitely have Ultron as the favorite as um, the Marvel villain. <laughs> Ultron as the Avengers villain. What is wrong with me tonight? Um, yeah, I definitely have Ultron as the villain. Definitely cast him in here. Have him as the villain. Definitely have like a Terminator setting to it. Like, he's learning to control all machines. Uh, yeah, most definitely him. And uh, definitely um, have Ultron as the main villain, basically. Um, seven. Do you think Nightwing should get an animated film? Most definitely. I totally think Dick Grayson should get an animated film as Nightwing. Um, if not that, maybe do a Batman and Robin one with him as Batman and Damian Wayne as Robin in those animated films. Most definitely. I totally think he's deserving his own animated film. Um, and lastly, Avengers vs. Justice League. Who would win? Um, there's actually a comic book that Marvel and DC did called Ave Justice League Avengers that had the Avengers and Justice League crossing over, and there's actually where they actually fight it out, fight it out in two of the issues. That's It's four issues put together in trade now. Yeah, you can definitely find it in trade right now, so... Um, go check it out. It's a really good book. Uh, very good, well done Marvel DC crossover. Probably, I think also the last Marvel DC crossover that those two companies did together. So you can go check it out. Thank you for the questions, The Plant. I'm going to move now on to Game Creator JJ. <clears throat> Alright, first one is, if you could use two characters in any media, who would they be and why? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of characters. Um... I think I would fuse actually two teams. Actually, I'd, I'd like to fuse the the Stormhawks and fuse them with uh, Gen 13. I'd like to fuse them together. Um, I'd like to fuse those two groups together into one team. Call it Gen Hawks, maybe. Give them all the powers. Um, give all the Stormhawk characters the powers of Gen 13. Maybe something like that. <laughs> um. Next, your second question is, should companies like Marvel DC release low-budget one-hour live-action films based on comic book to boost popularity? That is a really good idea. That is a fantastic idea. I'd do that. If I was in charge of Marvel or DC, I'd definitely put that out for, like, a Birds of Prey one-hour live-action short, or maybe a Nightwing one, or maybe a Moon Knight. Moon Knight definitely deserves one. Uh, or a Black Panther one, or Daredevil. Definitely something like a... But that is a really good idea. Um, what is your favorite Spider... Your third question is, what is your favorite Spider-Man? Not 616. Uh, definitely the zombie universe Spider-Man, because it's cool to have... He has all those cosmic powers and he eats people. Uh, Noir Spider-Man's cool. Uh, 
$20.99. Spider-Man's just awesome. Uh, that was the chair. <laughs> um, what else? Because there's a lot. Uh, but actually, no, they named those... I, I, those are the ones I really like. Um, yeah, those. Because I couldn't think of anyone else. But yeah, um, next question is... Do you think Joseph, Joseph Gordon-Levitt role in the Dark Knight Rises could be a cover-up? A cover up? If so, do you, who do you think he is? I don't know. I mean, if that's a cover-up, that's kind of a jerk move on Warner Brothers' part and Christopher Nolan's part, but... I'm pretty sure he they're gonna he's gonna be who he says he is, but if not, I'm definitely say he he'd make a really good uh, Alberto Falcone, like he was rumored to be play at, rumored to play as. So, but I don't think that's gonna happen. I think he is who they said he is. Um, five. Should Warner Brothers continue with the Nolan franchise? Well, they're kind of not because they're rebooting the movie after The Dark Knight. I don't know why. That's such a dumb idea. In my opinion, that's a dumb idea for the for this supposed Justice League movie that's going to be in 2013. So, oh well. What are you going to do? So, no, I think Nolan's three movies should be left alone after this. I really don't like the idea of a reboot after this because I think Nolan did such a great do job with Batman. Um, six. If you could have one comic book weapon, what would it be? Uh, a few things, actually. I'd want uh, the law make the lawmaker, or the lawgiver. I mean, Judge Dredge, Dred Judge Dredge's gun, uh, Green Lantern ring, lightsaber, Thor's hammer, a lot of weapons, basically. Um, your last, your next question is: Should Robin be in The Dark Knight Rises? Nah, I don't think he needs to be. I mean, it's. I'm betting it's going to be like a combination of the dark of the Dark Nightfall. I mean, yeah, Nightfall and Dark Victory. But I, I don't think you need Robin. I think this is basically a Bruce Wayne movie, on a, a Batman movie on its own. So, yeah, I think Robin would just basically kill the franchise. Actually, like go down the Schumacher, go down the Schumacher route. But it'd be cool to have like a cameo of Dick Grayson in here, like have him like Bruce Wayne at a circus and. He meets, he sees the Flying Graysons and gets to talk with a kid named Dick Grayson um, after the show. So that'd be kind of cool. So I wouldn't mind if they had a cameo of Dick Grayson in there, but no, Robin. Actually, sorry. Um, your eighth question is, what is the best fight you've ever done? Oh, there are lots. Those Frieza and Dark Side fight I like doing. Uh, Wolverine and Batman. Um, yeah, just so many fights that I've done. Uh, there are just too many to count, but those are just to name a few. Um, so yeah, there are probably more fights I enjoy doing in the future, so just keep that in mind. But those are just to name a few. Nine, if DC bought Marvel, one Marvel character, who do you, who would you want it to be? I think they could actually do a lot with Black Panther. No, no, no not Black Panther. Panther. Uh, while they could do a lot with Black Panther, I think they actually they th I think they should buy if they could buy one character. I think it would be. Um, I think it'd be now that they've lo Mar Wildstorm is gone. I think they should buy uh, the entire you know the the uh, the Wildcats since you know D Wildstorm's gone and DC now owns the right to Wildstorm characters. I think. The, if the DC got me, I think they should get the entire Wildcats team, because I think they could do a lot with the Wildcats and let them be, you know, dark and gritty as they're supposed to be. So, not just one character, but characters. Um, number ten. Do you, did you ever see the Max TV show? Sorry, no. But I did have seen the intro on YouTube, and maybe I should watch the shows. Uh, and lastly, what is your favorite TV show ever? I've got too many. Sorry, dude. I've just that's all I'm gonna say. I've got too many, but stay tuned because we're almost done with the Q and A. So um, that's coming up next.